So with CPU package power increasing all the time, we're seeing more 420 millimeter AIOs come onto the market. The latest AIO unit we've got in for review is this Silent Loop 3 420 from Be Quiet. It's the company's first 420 millimeter AIO featuring a three chamber pump design, a high density cold plate fin stack, and an easy access filling port. It's also equipped with Be Quiet's premium Silent Wings 4 PWM fans and ARGB lighting. Be Quiet says that all this combined will produce low noise, high performance cooling. So let's dive straight into this review and see if that's true. So this is the new Be Quiet Silent Loop 3. This is the 420 millimeter version we've got for review. There's also a 360 and a 240 millimeter version. These are only available in black currently. Be Quiet does do white coolers, so potentially these could come later in white, but for now they are only available in black. You can pick these up with an MSRP price of $175 for the 420. The 360 has an MSRP of $165 and the 240 is a little cheaper at $140. In the UK, you can pick these up from Scan. The 420 is priced at just under £125. The 360 is just under £120, and the 240 is priced just under £100. According to Be Quiet, the Silent Loop 3 offers high-performance cooling for modern CPUs with its powerful three-chamber pump, a large area, high-density cold plate fin stack, and Silent Wings 4 PWM high-speed fans. It features a premium yet elegant design with discrete ARGB CPU block lighting. It's available in 420, 360 and 240 millimeter sizes and includes support for all current desktop sockets including AMD Threadripper mounting frame with 360 and 420 millimeter units. As always with Be Quiet AIO coolers the Silent Loop 3 is equipped with an easy to access refill port for when maintenance is due and it comes with a three year warranty for peace of mind. Let's take a look at the cooler in some more detail. It is an all aluminium radiator available only in black. It comes with kind of a satin finish to it so it's not too glossy in terms of fingerprints it's not actually bad this coat and it doesn't show up fingerprints too easily it's got a very high density fin stack on the radiator it is a standard thickness radiator so it's 27 millimeters thick and the fans are standard 25 millimeter thickness You'll see at the radiator side if I just turn it round the tubing is fixed in position there no rotation or movement on that tubing. This is the 420 millimeter radiator, so it takes 340 millimeter fans, and dimensions are 457 by 140 by 27 millimeters. So, being a 420 millimeter unit, it is quite big, and that means it won't fit in all. ATX cases. It's a rubber tubing with a braided sleeving. I say this in almost every review, this braided sleeving, it used to be classed as a premium feature, not so much now. You get this on even the cheapest budget coolers, but it does look nice. It looks far better than seeing the, the bare rubber on the tubes. You will notice at the CPU block side, there is some rotation. So there's 90 degree rotary fittings at the CPU block. So this just makes it a little easier when you're trying to maneuver it into position. And if you need to position the tubes in a certain way inside the case, you can change the orientation of the tubes and it makes it just a little easier to install the cooler too. The pump's PWM controlled, so it just has a standard four pin PWM header. You can connect this either to a four pin PWM motherboard header, or if you have a standalone fan hub, you could connect to a standard four pin PWM connection on a hub. It's also got some ARGB lighting. So on this top cover, it's got kind of a grill design. Almost reminds me of like an old fireplace or like an old cast iron heater, but it has some RGB lighting on that. You can choose whether to connect that or not. If you prefer just the subtle all black look, just leave the lighting disconnected. But if you want the RGB lighting running, it is just a standard three pin five volt ARGB header. So again, either connect this to your motherboard or you can connect it to a standalone RGB hub. The CPU block isn't too tall, so it won't be too imposing on the system. At the base, the actual copper cold plate here is covered with a protective label. Remove that label and then underneath you can see that it is a copper cold plate, but it has a bright nickel plating. So it's good for using liquid metal thermal compound if you want to use liquid metal. And you can see the two mounting points there. These are used for either AMD or Intel installation. 
So there's just two mounting screws at the top and the bottom of the CPU. Obviously one other thing to mention about the radiator, which I almost missed, is at the top here, you do have a fill port. Be quiet, are one of the few vendors that allows refilling of the radiator. So when it comes to maintenance time, you don't need to do this very often. I'd say maybe every two years, you can check the level of the fluid in the radiator and refill it up there if necessary. So the fans that come with the Silent Loop 3 are Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 fans. Actually on the sticker they say Silent Loop 3 fans, but they are more or less the same as the Silent Wings 4 fans. These are 4-pin PWM controlled. Again, they just connect to motherboard headers using a standard 4-pin PWM header. Potentially, you could use a standalone fan hub to connect those if you wanted to. One thing worth pointing out is these aren't daisy chained, so they can't connect to each other and they don't connect mechanically or they're not interlocking fans. So you will have some cables to manage. There is a splitter cable provided in the accessories pack, but they can't be connected together. So that does possibly increase the installation time a little, but it does keep down the cost. They're a very subtle looking fan, all black, no RGB lighting on here. Each of the four corner mounting points have anti-vibration rubbers. The fans have a maximum speed of 1900 RPM controlled by PWM, maximum airflow of 78.4 cubic feet per minute, maximum air pressure of 2.36 millimeters H2O, and a maximum noise output of 29.3 decibels. And they use a fluid dynamic bearing setup, and as I say, just a standard four pin PWM connection. If you're looking for a new chair, then definitely go and check out bullies.co.uk. They offer a whole host of gaming and office chairs that come in a variety of different finishes and different colours. So the cooler is designed to be compatible with all current Intel and AMD desktop platforms. You can see the actual size of the block there also is compatible with larger IHS CPUs like AMD Threadripper. You do get with the 420 and the 360 version, a AMD Threadripper upper mounting bracket. So the 420s and the 360s can be used with high-end desktop. Also included is a user guide and installation manual. AMD upper mounting brackets for AM4, AM5, AMD, AM4, AM5 standoff kit, Intel upper mounting brackets, Intel backplate and standoff kit, a set of long Phillips head screws for fastening the fans to the radiator, a set of short short fillet head screws for radiator mounting inside your case. There's a small tube with thermal compound because there's none pre-applied to the cooler, a four pin PWM splitter cable, a few zip ties for cable management and a small bottle of coolant for topping up the radiator fluid level. We're using our new AMD test system to test the Be Quiet Silent Loop 3 420. This is using the latest AMD Ryzen 9 9950X CPU. Installation on both AMD and Intel platforms is very similar because our test system users an AMD platform will quickly run you through the installation process. First install the fans to the radiator in either a pull or push configuration depending on the position of the radiator in your case. Remove the stock AMD upper mounting brackets from the motherboard. Install the AMD AM4, AM5 standoffs and upper AMD mounting brackets. Apply some thermal compound to the CPU IHS. There's no pre-applied thermal compound but there is a small tube included with the cooler. Next align the CPU block with the CPU and tie Tighten down the two screws evenly and progressively to fix it in place. Next, to power up the cooler, connect the three fan cables together using the supplied PWM splitter cable. Connect the four pin PWM cable from the pump to the motherboard CPU option header or AIO pump header. Then connect the four pin PWM connector from the fans to the motherboard CPU fan header. And finally connect the three pin five volt ARGB cable from the pump to either a three pin five volt motherboard header or to a three pin five volt ARGB header on a standalone RGB hub. So the installation process is pretty simple on either Intel or AMD platforms. Probably takes about 15 minutes to install if you are familiar with installing AIOs but the user guide is really detailed, explains the installation process very well indeed. So you shouldn't have any issues installing the cooler. You have to remove the stock upper mounting brackets if you install it on AMD and Intel requires an extra backplate, which will add a little time, but only a few seconds. But the cooler uses standard four pin PWM and standard three pin five volt ARGB headers. So you can connect directly to a motherboard, which is a time saver. 
and it requires no software to run. If you want to check out our full testing methodology, head over to kitguru.net. There will be a written page for the Silent Loop 3 420. All the information and testing methodology is over there. So let's start by looking at noise output as this will give us a good indication of thermal performance based on the noise. With a 100% PWM speed of almost 1900 RPM, the three Be Quiet Silent Wings for 140 millimeter fans output just 45 decibels, which makes it one of the quietest coolers to be tested on our new AMD 9950X system, which is impressive since large fans running at high RPM are usually much louder. With the fans running at maximum speed at around 1900 RPM, the Silent Loop 3 shows decent thermal performance at 60 degrees C average over ambient. However, it only matches the performance of its smaller and older sibling, the Be Quiet Light Loop 360, but performance is within a couple of degrees of the Silverstone Ice Mist 420 and Corsair H170i RGB, but there's a clear gap to the best in the chart. Restricting all coolers to 40 decibels noise output puts everything on a level playing field and the true performance can be measured. The Silent Loop 3 420 holds on to performance with fan speed reduced, but it still only matches the Light Loop 360. It's a couple of degrees better than the Corsair H170i RGB, but the Silverstone Ice Mist 420 pulls a few degrees C gap at 40 decibels. So the Silent Loop 3 performance is a little disappointing as it's the newer of all the 420 millimeter AIOs in our data pool. The majority of AMD users will no doubt be running their CPUs with dynamic clock frequencies. So we run the full fan speed test again with AMD Precision Boost Overdrive enabled in the motherboard BIOS and measure the performance. In this scenario, the Be Quiet Silent Loop 3 again does okay with an average clock multiplier of 52.5 at 68 degrees C over ambient, which is a minor improvement over the 420 millimeter Corsair unit. But as we saw in the other thermal tests, it's not blistering performance and only on par with other 360 millimeter units. So on one hand, I quite like this cooler for its low noise output, its subtle looks, although that is a subjective thing and it doesn't contribute to the overall score this cooler gets in the review. It's quiet even at high speed of 1900 RPM. Some other coolers really struggle at high speed. So you should find this, even with the fans running at maximum speed, you should find the noise levels quite tolerable. It's easy to install and set up. There's no proprietary connections, no fan hubs or RGB hubs to install and no software either. So installation setup is very quick and simple. The negatives, the performance is a bit mediocre, especially thinking that this is a 420 millimeter unit. For all that extra real estate that you've got to fit inside the case, you're not getting any performance benefit over the equivalent Be Quiet 360 millimeter unit. And there are other competitors, 360 millimeter units that perform significantly better than this, especially on AMD. The other thing is the 420 millimeter radiator. It won't fit in all ATX cases. There are only quite a small handful of cases that accept 420 millimeter radiators, especially mounted at the top, which is the preferred location, I'd say for a gaming PC. And the fans, they are quite old fashioned with how they're wired. They're not daisy chainable. You can't connect the fans, the electronics of the fans together, and they're not interlocking fans that connect together mechanically. So there will be some cable management uh, required to make the installation look neat. Price wise, it's okay, 125 pounds. It's competitive with other 420 millimeter units, but there are much cheaper AIOs out there that will perform as good, if not a little better. And the warranty is a little disappointing at only three years. Some much cheaper AIO coolers now offer up to six years warranty. So three years is on the short side. So overall, it's not a bad AIO. It's reasonably priced, but you're not getting the absolute best performance with it. So that's the Be Quiet Silent Loop 3 420. Let me know what you think of this cooler in the comment section. If you've enjoyed watching this review, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to KitGuru on YouTube if you're not already a subscriber. If you enjoy what we do here at KitGuru and you want to help support us, you can always head over to our store, pick up some of our merch, or you could subscribe to our Patreon. And as always, if you want to catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews, head over to our website.